All right guys, welcome back to this video. I'm gonna show you how to build great websites to get massive results. I'm gonna show you a really simple and effective system. It's what I've used from the very beginning when my web design business took off. It's because of this approach. So I'm gonna show you what I've used and show you how to use it too. Very, very simple. And if you use this, you're gonna quickly start building great websites to get massive results. Now, why is that so important? Why do you want such big results from the websites that you build? Because that's how you get profitable. If you're looking to start a web design business, to grow your web design business, you want it to be profitable. And basically the better results you get for the businesses that you're working with the more they're going to pay you if you actually produce a website that does something for their business then it's worth more than a website that just looks good now ideally you want to have both but really what clients are going to pay big money for is some big results in this video i'm going to show you how exactly to do that how to go out there and with very simple or starting technical skills build a great website that gets those big results for the business. Keep in mind, this is all about the business. Of course, we want the website to look good, but at the end of the day, business owners are buying these websites to change something about their business, to improve it, to grow it. So I'm gonna show you exactly how this works in this video, show you the system to use, and then we're gonna have a real example as well. So if you're ready to go, let's get straight into it. All right, so let's get into it. Five different steps, five different stages to go from finding your first client to building a website that gets great results. Now, first stage, what do you need? You need to get a client. We covered this in a previous video. If this is the first video that you watched and you haven't seen this previous video, check out the notes below this video. I'll link directly to it, but that's the first stage. Go out there right now, find someone who knows you, who already trusts you, someone in your area, your personal network, whatever it is, and land that first client. Again, it's all covered in that video, so just check it out. That's point number one, get your first client. Okay, point number two is to have a talk with that client, that potential client. You need to sit down, find out what is going on with their business, what they're struggling with, what the challenges are, what difficulties they're having. And the good news for us as web designers is this has been a pretty difficult year. I know that isn't on the, you know, on the whole a positive thing that sucks for a lot of people, but our job as a web designer is to help people with their business to grow and improve it. And there's no shortage of people out there who are stuck. So you just need to find those people, have these conversations with them and find out what they're stuck with. So I cover this in the second video of this series. Check out again the links below, I'll link to it. But I basically sat down with a business owner, talked all about their business, what they're stuck at with the moment, what problems they have, um, everything that's going on, just asking a lot of good questions, letting them talk as much as possible and then just hearing what they had to say. So this is your second step and don't overthink it. Just reach out to whatever business you can for now and see how you can help. And remember the best thing to focus on right now is that everyone is struggling to adjust. For a lot of businesses, if not all businesses, this has been a very challenging and difficult year. So get out there and find a business in your area or in your network and check in with how they are doing. How has this year been for them? What are they stuck with? What do they want to change or adjust with their business and how might you be able to help them? So focus on what their problems are right now and what are the best ways for you to help them? Okay, so point number two is to have a conversation with the business owner. Point number three or stage number three is to break down that conversation and just make sure that you've covered everything. Now, what I recommend to do is to record the conversation as it's happening, to also take notes. And then as soon as you can, after the conversation is done, go back to all of those different things and start looking at everything. Now, basically what you're trying to do, and this is point number four, is understand their situation as best as you can, and then look for the potential problems that you can solve. So at my example, I sat down with that boxing gym owner. This is what we covered in the last episode. Once more, the links are below. And I had that conversation right after the conversation I had recorded it. I didn't take any notes, but I went straight back through that recording and I looked at just understanding his situation as much as possible and then identifying every problem that I could. I was looking at everything he was saying. What's his frustrations? What is he stressed about? What does he want to change with the business? What's he looking to improve on? What's the goals of the business? All these different things. I was just going through everything that he was saying and I was getting that information directly from him. I wasn't trying to guess what his problems were. I was just looking at exactly what he said and I was just noting everything down and just having a look at that, understanding his situation and identifying the problems that he directly told me are things that he wants to change and improve about the business. So to see a real example of this, just check out the link 
that's below this video. I've done it for the gym um, interview from the very last episode and you can see exactly you know, what the interview looked like and then exactly what the notes look like and then what I took from those notes and how I'd started to identify different problems and understand his situation as best as I could. Then after you've done all of this, the fifth thing to do, the final stage, is just to clearly list out those problems. So now that you've identified the problems, now that you understand their situation, you see where they're coming from, you kind of feel the world from their perspective, list out all the clear problems that they've mentioned and focus on the ones that you can solve using a website or some sort of website system. So again, using the example here, I identified seven problems, seven very clear problems that this person that I talked to have. So they change location, they have a new business idea, they have no current website, they want a new certain type of client, they want to now grow the new business idea, and with that, they want better systems and they wanna make it easier to get sales. So now when I start the website, I have a very clear set of goals in mind and I have a very set way to judge if the website is a success and if it got this client real results. So my end results are based on the real problems that I identify and they come directly from me talking to the client and listening to what they have to say. So there's no guessing here. It's an exact system that works and you end up with a great website that the client loves. It really helps their business and you can really show that website to other business owners and show the value of working with you and that you're able to also get them results with their problems that they have as well. It sounds pretty simple when you kind of put it all together and it is very simple, but a lot of people miss this. They kind of guess what the problems are or they don't even focus on them in the first place and they go off building a website that nobody really needed or that wasn't gonna provide that much value in the first place. When you use this system, the website that you're building is directly about the problems that they have and solving those problems. It seems like a subtle difference in the beginning, but the end result is a massive difference. You're gonna build a website that really, really helps this business, helps the client, gets them the best results that it could have gotten, and that's gonna mean a lot to that client. They're gonna basically love that website, love the results that they're getting, and that's gonna make it easier for you to get paid and easier for you to get future clients. When you take the great results that you're having for one business and you start taking them to other businesses, it's gonna be a lot easier to get those future clients, get those future projects, and make a lot of profits. So that's basically it for this episode. Very quick recap, find a client, have a conversation, go back through that conversation in fine detail, identify what is their situation, what is their problems, and then list out those problems and then that's it. Once you have a clear list of the problems based on exactly what they're saying, you're ready to go to this next stage, which is actually to start building the website. And in the very next episode, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this based on what we covered in this video. And that's gonna mean amazing results for the websites that you're building and your web design business is very, very quickly going to take off. So catch me in the next episode. We're gonna start actually building the website for this real project. And I'm gonna show you, of course, how to do this for yourself with your own clients. So hope you enjoy this video. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Uh, check out those notes below because there's a lot of notes with this video that are really gonna just make it more simple and easy for you to follow along. And that's it. Catch you in the next episode. Let me know what you think below. If you got value from this, please share the video and like it. Thanks for watching.